everyone. Magandang araw po sa lahat. Uh, ngayon po ay pag-uusapan natin ang Math 6, Quarter 2, Week 1 na lesson. Okay? And this is all about ratio and proportion. Now, let's take a look at this example problem first. Okay? It says here, Tess loves baking cakes. In her recipe, she uses 2 cups of sugar for every 3 cups of flour. Ibig sabihin nito, kapag nagbibake siya ng kanyang cake, ang recipe na ginamit niya ay gumamit ng 2 cups of sugar, bawat 3 cups of flour. And, ang ginawa natin dito is actually comparing, compare natin yung quantity ng sugar na ginamit doon sa quantity ng flour na ginamit or arena. Diba? So, pwede mong sabihin na 2 cups of sugar is used every 3 cups of flour. So, bawat 2 cups of sugar, 3 cups of flour ang ginamit. Diba? Okay. Kapag ikaw ay nagkukumpare ng dalawang quantities or numbers, pareho dito in a recipe, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito talaga is ratio. Yan. Lagi nating maririnig yan. Lalo na sa mga mahilig uh, magluto na ang ratio sa flour at saka sugar ay ganito. Ang ratio ng uh, flour at saka ng egg ay ganito. Kaya, importante po bakit uh, pag-aaralan din natin ang ratio. And to write it properly, uh, this comparison sa ratio na to, isusulat mo lang ito as 2 is to 3 or colon 2 colon 3 and babasahin mo yan as 2 is to 3 but we'll have more anyway so uh, wag mag-alala we will tackle more on this para mas maintindihan right so ano ba talaga ang ratio based doon sa example natin okay Ratio is a comparison of two or more numbers doon sa example natin dalawa lang pinag-uusapan natin 2 cups of flour and 3 cups of oh no 2 cups of sugar and 3 cups of flour dalawa lang di ba kaya lang sabi dito it could be a comparison of two or more numbers okay so later on i explain ko lang din okay? bakit pwede ang more numbers okay it says how much of one thing there is compared to another sinasabi dito na um, ilan ba ang quantity ng isang bagay kumpara sa ibang bagay. So, dun sa example natin, sugar at saka flour. ba? Okay, marami yan. Pero, uh, pag-uusapan na lang natin later ang iba pang example. Okay. It can be used to compare two or more numbers using the same unit. So, yun yung sinabi ko kanina. Okay? Dalawa lang ang pinag-usapan dun sa example problem natin. Two cups of sugar, 3 cups of flour. Kaya, ang sulat dito is 2 is to 3. Okay? Um, add other ratios na pinakita ng iba in uh, some recipes may gumagamit ng 1 is to 1 na ratio. Not necessarily cups of sugar or flour ha. Basta, meron ding mga ratios na pinag-uusapan na 1 is to 1. Meron ding 2 is to 3 is to 5. Now, bakit? Kasi, yung 2 is to 3 is to 5, okay? Ibig sabihin lang nun, tatlong uh, numbers ang kinompare. So, ang example dito is, pwede in an investment. So, for example, um, nag-invest kayo para sa isang... Um, negosyo. So, kung ikaw ay kasama doon, uh, let's say for example, konti lang pera mo, pwede mo sabihin na, uy, dalawang parte lang ang aangkinin ko ha. Sa'yo, tatlong parte kasi kaya mo yan eh. Kay ano, dapat limang parte kasi siya yung mas mayaman sa atin, di ba? So, pwedeng 2 is to 3 is to 5 in, in, in an investment. So, kung maliit lang na negosyo ang ginawa niyo, pwedeng 200 sa'yo, 300 sa isang kaibigan mo, and 500 sa another kaibigan. Diba? So, pagka bibilangin na or hahatiin na ang uh, kita niyo dito, susundan niyo rin to. 2 is to 3 is to 5. Okay? And then, there are even uh, comparisons na aabot sa apat. So, 1 is to 1 is to 2 is to 3. Okay? And, uh, Ito rin, sabi, a fraction is always used for part to whole comparison, but the ratio can be used for part to part, 
part to whole, and other comparisons such as length to width and so on. Um, mas maiintindihan to in our next examples. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng part to part and part to whole? Right? Okay. A ratio with just two terms can be written in word form, fraction form, and colon form. Sa lahat ng pinakita ko dito, naka-colon siya. Um, ito, yung 2 is to 3, right? Um, okay. Yung 2 is to 3 dito, okay? Ito ang colon. Ito naman, naka-colon. Ito, another colon. Okay? Puro colon ang ginamit. Pero sabi dito, a ratio with just two terms can be written in word form, fraction form, and colon form. Paano ba yan? Right? Ito lang yan. Okay. 1 is to 4. Ito yung word form. So, ang number dito nakasulat in word. Okay? 1 at saka yung 4. And then, yung may is 2. Okay? Kaya lang, kung mahaba naman yung number mo, okay? Let's say, for example, 131 is to 200. Edi ang haba na isusulat mo, ba? So, you could just write down as well as 1 is to 4. So, pasok pa rin ito sa word form na sinabi kasi wala kang symbol na ginamit dito uh, aside from the 1 and 4 na numerical symbol. Okay? So, ang iba dito is in words. Pareho dito sa is at saka 2. Kaya pasok siya sa word form. So, pwede ito 1 is to 4. Pwede rin ito 1 is to 4. And that is still in word form. Okay? Kasi nandyan yung word na 2 at saka is. Okay? And then, this one is in fraction form. Okay? Ibig sabihin nun, 1. Okay? Kasi in fraction form ito at alam mo na ratio ang pinag-uusapan natin. Pagbabasahin mo ito, pareho lang din dito. 1 is to 4. Not necessarily uh, 1 fourth. Hindi, kasi 1 fourth fraction yun eh. So, if you're talking about ratio, ang pagbasa mo ay pareho dito. 1 is to 4. So, pwede siya in fraction form. And then, lastly, pwede colon form. Okay? Usually, lagi nyo nakikita into in colon form kasi isang tingin mo pa lang, alam mo na na ratio pinag-usapan kasi naka-colon form siya. Pero, pwede rin ang fraction, ha? Okay. Alright. Okay, balikan natin yung problem. Tess loves baking cakes. In her recipe, she uses 2 cups of sugar for every 3 cups of flour. What is the ratio of sugar to flour? So, eto na yung tanong. Sugar to flour. Now, take note, sa isang ratio, dapat babantayan mo ang order. Kaya, susundan mo lang yung sinabi dyan. Wala ka ng problema. Sugar, edi 2. Flour, edi 3. Yun lang yun, ha? So, dahil nauna yung sugar nung binanggit ang question, kasi pwede kasi balikta rin yung question. So, since ang, ang question dito nagsasabi na ano ang ratio ng sugar to flour, dapat unahin mo sa pagsulat ng sugar, which is 2, isunod mo yung flour, which is 3. And since pareho ang unit na ginamit, cups at saka cups, okay lang yun. So, ratio usually uses the same unit. Okay? Iba na kasi pagka different unit, hindi na yung ratio, it's already rate. So, anyway, let's concentrate more on ratio. Okay? Um, right, tingnan natin. In word form, isusulat mo ito, since sugar to flour ang pinag-usapan, you would say 2 is to 3. Okay? And then, if it's in colon form, isusulat mo siya as 2 and then colon 3. Pero babasahin mo yan as 2 is to 3. Pareho lang ang pagbabasa ha? And then in fraction form, you would say 2 is to 3. Pareho lang din ha? So, pwede mo isulat ang ratio in word form, colon form, and then fraction form. Alright, example tayo. Okay. We have here... Um, a collection of balls. So, meron tatlong basketball, dalawang volleyball, isang football, at saka limang tennis balls. Right? Okay, dito natin mas maintindihan ano ibig sabihin ng part to part, uh, part to whole. Alright. Um, alam nyo na na pwedeng i-express um, ang ratio in word form, fraction form, at saka colon form. ba? So, gagawa tayo ng ratio based on this. In word form, fraction form, and 
colon form side. First, ratio. Basketball to volleyball. So, meron ka ditong tatlong basketball, dalawang basketball. So, eto na yung sinasabi kong part to part. Kasi, ang tatlong basketball na ito is a part of the whole collection of balls. And then, yung volleyball naman is a part of the whole collection of balls. Kaya, ang, uh, ang, ang ratio na ito is part to part. Part of the whole um, collection. This is also a part of the whole collection. Okay? So, since basketball ang una, basketball dapat ang il una nating ilagay dito. So, ilang basketball dyan? Meron. Three. And then, yung volleyball ay two. So, in word form, that would be three is to two. And then, in fraction form, three over two lang yan. Okay? And then, colon form, that is three colon two. Pero lahat ng ito, babasahin mo yan as three is two, two. Okay? Now, another one. Again, this is part to part. Tennis ball. Ito yon tennis ball. And then, football. Tandaan ang order at susundan dapat. Since inuna ang tennis ball, eh di isulat mo yung five. Tapos, football ay one. So, this is just five is to one. And then, sa fraction form, isulat mo as 5 over 1. And then, this one is 5 colon 1. Okay. Bakit? Sinabi ko na tatandaan dapat ang order. Kasi, ayan, dito sa pangatlo, pareho lang ang, eh, ang, ang kinumpare. Eh. Football, tennis ball, at saka football. And then, football, tennis ball. Ang kaibahan lang, baligtad lang tong kabila. Diba? So, since nauna na ngayon ang football, edi una un, unahin mo na ngayon yung 1. So, una na natin ang 1. So, that would be 1 is to 5. Tama, diba? Kasi binaligtad lang eh. Okay? So, dapat tandaan ang order ha. Kasi magkakamali ang sagot mo. Okay? Um, dito naman, that would be 1 over 5. And then, in colon form, that is uh, 1 is to 5. Oh, sorry, hindi nakita. Okay? And then, the next one is, ayan, volleyball to the whole collection of balls. Ito na ngayon ang example ng uh, part to whole. Kasi ang hinanap dito is the whole collection of balls. ba? So, um, pwede na natin ngayon isulat as volleyball dahil volleyball ay dalawa lang. So, you would say, um, 2 is 2. 11. Ayan ha. And then, for fraction form, that would be 2 over 11. And then, colon form, that would be 2 is 2, 11. Alright? So, word form, fraction form, colon form. Okay? Alright. Um, another example tayo dito. Okay. Okay. The choir group of the school has five boys for every 15 girls. What is the ratio of boys to girls? Now, this time, ang um, example dito is in a problem form. And then, ang hinanap ay ratio of boys to girls. Now, since nauna yung boys, eh di unahin natin sa pagsulat ang five. Kasi may five boys daw, bawat 15 girls. So, ang sagot dapat dito is 5 is to 15. O, oh, tama, ba? 5 is to 15. And then, paano kung yan? What if only one boy is added? Isa lang ang, ang sasali ulit, i-added. Ilang girls ba ang kailangan idagdag as well? Kasi nga, may, sun, may sinusundan kang ratio eh. Paano kung isa lang ang boy? Ilang girl ang ilalagay mo? Eh, Diba, 5 is to 15, o kung 1 na lang dito, i-divide mo by 5 para magiging 1. So, kung 1 dito, divide by 5, divide din natin to by 5, magiging 3 na lang ito. So, 5 divided by 5 is 1, 15 divided by 5 is 3. Now, bakit natin dinivide ng 5 ito? Kasi boys ito eh, 5 boys, diba? E sabi dito, 1 boy. E di para magiging 1 boy na lang ito, divide natin by 5 para magiging 1. Okay? And, lagi kong tina, uh, sinasabi na if ever 
may ginawa sa kaliwa, gagawin sa kanan. Ginawa sa taas, gagawin sa baba. Ganun yun, di ba? So, nag-divide ka ng 5 dito, divide ka rin ng 5 dito. So, para maging 1 ito, divide mo ng 5. And then, yung katabi niya, dapat divide mo rin ng 5. So, dapat, ang sagot mo would be... Ayan, that is, not, that is not equal to 1 is to 3. Ibig sabihin, kung isang boy lang ang, ya, ang, ang sasali or idadagdag sa group, sa choir group, dapat meron ding idadagdag na tatlong girls para tama pa rin ang ratio nila. Right? And then, if we're going to write this in uh, fraction form, right, that would be 5 over 15. And then, uh, kung i-reduce na 10, Okay, that would be 1 is 2, 3, or 1 over 3. So, ni-reduce lang natin ang fraction into uh, its lowest term. Ganon din dito. Okay, ang ratio dito, which is 5 is to 15, ni-reduce din natin, ginawa natin, 1 is to 3. So, ibig sabihin nun, okay, ratios can be expressed in lowest terms. Yun yun ha, kasi parang fraction lang. Pwede nga isulat in fraction eh. Kaya, pwede rin natin siyang i-reduce to lowest term. Right? Okay. Now, another example here, we have 4 is to 20. Paano natin i-reduce to lowest term ito? Eh, di, i-divide mo lang by 4. Uh, 4 dito is the GCF of 4 and 20. Kasi ang 20 ay pwedeng i-divide ng 4. So, divide natin by 4, that is 1. Divide natin by 4, that is 5. So, this is just equal to 1 is to 5. Ayan ha. So, ang ginawa natin is nag-reduce tayo ng ratio to its lowest form. Okay? Then, meron dito, 2 is to 8. Ang 8 ay pwede rin i-divide ng 2. So, i-divide natin yung dalawa ng 2. And, this is now equal to 1 is to 4. Okay? Another one. We have 100 over 200. Kitang-kita mo. One half lang yan, no? Tanggalin mo yung dalawang zero. Diba? So, divide by 100. Divide by 100. You would have one half. Kasi ang 100 is kalahate ng 200. Kaya, samtingin pa lang. Crash out mo lang yung zero. Tapos na. Diba? And then, the next one is 25 is to 25. Ibig sabihin, Pareho lang ang number, di ba? E di, kung pareho lang ang number, divide mo by 25, divide by 25, ang ratio dito is just 1 is 2, 1. Di ba? And then, last one is 14 over 21. So, ano pwede nating i-divide sa 14 at saka 21? Um, kung titignan mo, okay, these are multiples of 7. Ito may dalawang 7, ito may tatlong 7. So, divide mo by 7, ito ay magiging 2, ito magiging 3. So, this is just equal to 2 over 3. Diba? So, itong lahat na to, okay, are equal ratios. Tama, ba? Now, since dalawa na ang ratio dito, ito, 4 is to 20, 1 is to 5. Hindi na natin tawagin ang dalawang equal ratio as ratio pa rin. Okay? May ibang tayong pangalan na ginagamit for two equal ratios. At ang tawag natin dyan ay proportion. Diba? So, ibig sabihin nun, proportion is, ayan, a proportion has two equal ratios. Ganun lang yun, okay? Pag meron dalawang equal ratios, eh di proportion na yun, diba? Alright? Okay, so, still on proportion, let's have another example. Yan, meron dyan isang circle. And then, kasama ng isang circle ay dalawang triangle. So, pwede natin sabihin na 1 is 2, 2. Tama, ba? 1 circle, 2, 2, or is 2, 2 triangles. ba? Now, paano kung dalawa na ang circle? Ilan na ngayon ang triangles? Eh, di 1, 2, 3, 4. Ayan. Eh, di apat ang triangles, di ba? So, again, this is an example of a proportion. And that is 1 is to 2 equals 2 is to 4. And, kapag isulat, ayan. Ayan na siya. 1 is to 2, 
Ito yung 1 is to 2 natin. And then 2 is to 4. Ito yung 2 is to 4 natin. Okay. Now, sa proportion, or kahit sa ratio, sa ratio, ang una mong sinulat ay the first term. Pangalawang sinulat ay second term, di ba? Eh, di sa proportion, ganun lang din. Ang unang number na sinulat is the first term. Pangalawa is the second term. Ito, pangatlo mong sinulat na number, third term. Ito yung pang-apat, fourth term. Nasa pag-ano lang yan eh. Nasa pag-sulat mo lang. First, second, third, fourth. Yun, di ba? Okay. So, in a proportion, ito ang tawag sa kanila. First term, second term, third term, fourth term. But, okay. Tignan ha. Yung dalawang number sa magkabilang dulo, dito sa left, at saka sa, sa right. Okay? So, dulo. Dulo. So, dulan. Iba ang tawag natin dyan sa dalawa. Ang tawag natin dyan ay extremes. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, itong dalawang nasa loob, okay, iba na ngayon ang tawag dyan. So, ang tawag natin sa dalawang nasa loob ay means. Okay? Bakit importante na alam natin ano ang extremes, ano ang means? Okay? Kasi makakatulong ito para malaman natin kung ang ginawa mong proportion ay tama. If it's a two, true proportion, bakit? Pagka ita times mo kasi ang extremes, okay? You would say 1 times 4, ang sagot mo ay 4, di ba? Pag ita times mo naman yung dalawang means, 2 times 2, you have 4. Pariho, di ba? So ibig sabihin lang noon, the product of the extremes, okay, is equal to the product of the means. So para malaman kung tama yung proportion mo, i-multiply mo lang tong dalawa. At dapat equal yan. And alam mo na na ang binigay or ang ginawa mo is a true proportion. Okay ha? So again, yan. A proportion is made up of two equal ratios. And in a proportion, the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. Alright. Um, continue tayo with this one. Okay. Now, paano kung ang proportion mo ay nakasulat in fraction form? O yan. O paano yan, ma'am? Eh, sabi mo, ma'am, sukdulan, extremes, nasa gilid ang uh, extremes. ba? Paano yan ay eh, naka-fraction form siya? Eh, di ba, sinabi ko um, in uh, part, in the parts of the proportion, ang una mong sinulat is the first term. Ang huli mong sinulat is the fourth term. So, yung extremes natin, ay yun yung una at saka huli. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, ito lang yung una. Dahil ito yung isusulat mo, yung una. So, this is the first term. Okay? Ayan. E di ito yung second term, third term, and then fourth term. So, ibig sabihin nun, itong dalawang to ang extremes. So, ito ngayon ay times mo. Okay? Ang dalawang to naman, e dalawang ito naman ang means. So, ibig sabihin, kapag naka-fraction form ang proportion mo, okay, ang gagawin mo ngayon is cross-multiplication para malaman kung tama ba ang proportion. Okay? So, again ha, cross-multiplication kasi ito lang yung extremes eh. Ito din yun ang means. Right? Ayan. Okay? So, cross-multiplication yan. So, ibig sabihin, if the proportion is in fraction form, do cross multiplication to check if the ratios are equal. Okay? Right? Okay, let's have a practice exercise. Okay, read each item carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Um, if ever you're going to answer and you're not done yet, you can pause the video, okay? Alright, for number one, what is the ratio of 10 apples to 2 children? Tandaan ha, ang unang binanggit, ang unang isulat, kasunod yung pangalawang binanggit. So, 10 apples to 2 children. So, dapat, ang sagot mo dito, mauna ang apples, mauna ang children. Kaya lang, tignan natin ang mga choices. Yan. So, kung hahanapin mo ngayon ang 10 is to 2, wala. Wala dito, wala dito, wala dito, wala dito. Bakit? 
kailangan mong i-reduce to lowest term. So, ano ngayon ang sagot natin? Ayan. 5 is to 1 lang ang sagot natin. Okay? Kasi, i-divide natin by 2 itong dalawa dahil pwede i-divide by 2 ang 10. That would be 5. Ang 2 divided by 2, that would be 1. So, tandaan, ang ratio ay pwedeng i-reduce to lowest term at dapat ang sagot mo is in lowest term. Okay, for number 2, in the illustration below, what is the ratio of circles to rectangles? Ayan. Okay, ang problema lang, marami ang um, naka-illustrate dito. So, apat na um, circle, tatlong rectangle, at saka 2, 4, 6, 7 na triangles. Ang tanong is ratio of circles to triangles. Ano ngayon ang option? Right? So, ano kaya ang tamang sagot? Okay, tama. Kasi ang hanap is circle to rectangle. So, ito lang yung circle, tatlo, and then rect ay, circle, apat, and then rectangles, tatlo. Okay. If it's triangles to rectangles, okay, ano dapat? Okay. Tingnan natin. Triangles daw. Ito yun. So, pito, ba? E isang tingin pa lang, ito lang yung may una ang pito eh. Diba? So, ang sagot dito would be 7 is to 3. Diba? Alright, next. We have 2 boys is to 1 bed. A 6 boys is to 3 beds. Ano ang binigay dito? Okay, kung titignan nyo, meron 2 is to 1. And then, 6 is to 3. Sabi sabihin, this is a proportion. Tignan natin, ha? Okay, so, ano dapat ang sagot natin? 2 is to 1. And 6 is to 3. So, ang sagot is, ayan, letter B. Number 5, meron tayong 4 teddy bears. 2, 2 boxes. Ano ngayon ang tamang ratio? Right? Wala kang 4 is to 2 kasi i-reduce mo to lowest term. So, ang sagot dito is ayan, 2 is to 1. Another one. Okay, use the smiley if the proportion is true and uh, sad smiley if not. So, happy smiley kung true and sad smiley if it's not. Okay. So, number one. Is it happy or sad? Okay. Ayan. Happy. Now, paano mo malaman na tama? O, multiply mo yung dalawa. 1 times 5, 5. 1 times 5, 5. E, di tama. Diba? Let's have the next one. Ano kaya ang sagot? Okay, tignan natin ha. Ayan, it's a sad face. Okay, bakit? Kasi, if you multiply this 3 with 3, 9. 5 times 5, 25. Kaya, mali ang proportion. Hindi na, uh, hindi na ayos ng tama. Okay, now next. Ano kaya ang sagot dito? Alright. Happy face. Okay, bakit? Kasi pag ita times mo to, 50 times 3, dalang 50 is 150. Ito naman, 75 times 2, that is also 150. Diba? Dalawang 75, 150 lang yan. Sa pera mo, mabilis lang. Diba? Now, paano kaya ito? Tignan natin ano yung sagot. Alright, happy face ulit. Now, bakit? I-check mo. Cross multiply. 1 times 12, that is 12. 2 times 6, that is 12. So, tama lang. ba? Next. Alright, this is a sad face. Kasi, okay, if you cross multiply, this is 32. And then, this is 18. Alright? So, sana po naintindihan and look for some uh, 
websites para mas maintindihan ang tungkol sa ratio and proportion. Thank you for watching.